Essen steht fast schon bereit. Ich denke, wir können noch ein wenige Fragen dann einfließen lassen. Vielleicht ist auch noch mal die Chance, Luft zu holen. Aber jetzt Teil 2 oder Versuch Nummer 2, liebe Schwester Nathalie. Danke, dass Sie sich heute so spontan Zeit genommen haben, aus Rom zugeschaltet zu sein. Ihnen gehört gleich das Wort als ein Grußwort heute am Beginn der Tagung. Und Sie haben vielleicht schon mitbekommen, wir haben gerade darum gerungen, wie wir weltweit synodal die Frage der Frau aufgreifen können. Insofern nichts besser als das, dass Sie jetzt zu uns sprechen. Äh, danke schön. Äh, guten Tag aus Rom. I will uh, speak in English. Uh, just to greet you and uh, it's uh, the really a pleasure to see all of you reflecting on this important topic and uh, among you some who will participate very soon to the Synod Assembly in Rome. So I just want to encourage you to live this moment uh, in the synodal spirit of mutual listening, to listen to the Holy Spirit and to continue this process of discernment as we are about to leave this assembly in October in Rome that is just a step in a circular process that has begun in October 2021. And after the assembly, the reflection will continue in the local churches uh, until the second session in October 2024. So it's a long process. We know that already many steps have been taken. Women have been very much involved in the local level, diocesan, national, continental uh, assemblies. There will be women, as you know, for the first time as voting members in the assembly but not only, also serving among experts, facilitators, as special guests, fraternal delegates, so many ways. Um, and we are on the road. And I just want to invite you uh, to have in mind through your uh, reflection during those days, this broader picture of the perspective of the Synod that is about how can we better journey together. That means also men and women, uh, but eyes from all kinds of life, uh, vocation, role, all kinds of ministries. How can we better journey together? to become a more synodal church, to serve better this world. And uh, we hope that we will continue the journey with also uh, the protagonism of women who have been already uh, very much uh, involved. But uh, as you know, the three priority issues for the Synod in which we have to um, integrate uh, a focus on women in ministry is those three priority issues that I want to remind. How to be a communion that radiates, because this Synod is about the church how to be the church today, who is the church, and the church is a communion in mission. So how can we be more fully a sign and an instrument of union with God and the unity of all humanity? <clears throat> the second uh, priority issue is about co-responsibility in mission, 
That means co-responsibility between men and women, between ordained, religious, lay, priests, deacons, all kinds of state of life, so that we can better share gifts and tasks in the service of the gospel. And the third priority issue is about participation, governance, and authority. What processes, structures, and institutions in a missionary synodal church? And all those priority issues are to help us to discern what steps the Holy Spirit is asking us all together as church to a better journey together to announce, to proclaim the gospel in the world of today. So the voices of all uh, are important. And one learning uh, takeaway from the, the synodal process until now is that there is a common call for a better participation of women. But we have also to be aware that uh, we, Catholic women are very diverse uh, according to their background. There are common views, but there is also a lot of diversity. And I hope this synod will help as you are trying to do to uh, really foster a dialogue among women, but also men, uh, but I coming from very different geographical, uh, cultural background. And because all of us, we have different lenses and that's the richness of the exchange of gifts and of the discernment on com in common we are called to do. So I wish you all the best. I want to greet especially uh, Professor Margit, uh, Dr. Thomas, and all the organizers, and all those of you who are contributing to this path uh, with this challenge that we see is not only for the Catholic Church, it's for all religion, uh, this question of women participation is also across the border of our religions because it's also about our societies and uh, it's all together in this mutual listening and encounter that we will have also to change mentality. So all the best and uh, we are together on the road listening to the diversity of voices. Thank you. Sister Natalie, thank you very much. Uh, you know the community with God is a community with the woman. You will work for better structures and we wish you the best also for the synod in the few weeks and you are hardly invited to Germany to come and tell us about the next steps of this mission of the decisions of the synod. Thank you very much and heartily welcome in Germany. Okay.